Now I'd like to show you how you can even automate the activations of, um, of the channels. And I'll solo this channel here. Go for the EQ section. So I prepare the EQ. So these are the effects I'm going for. And these kind of fader movements I'm doing now are the ones I'd like to automate. So what I'll do is I'll switch on right and play the track and then just do my my little um, EQ tweaks and then see what happens. Make it a little bit wider. Off we go. Mm -hmm. And now I just have to switch off right, switch on read, go back to the beginning of the song and play the, the channel. And you can see here the movements are taking place, but because I didn't automate the switch on, none of the initial movements are um, being automated. So these work. And I'll just, just have to fix the beginning bit. And I'll do this by um, going back to the beginning of the song, clicking on Ride, clicking on On, and that's it. And now I can switch right off and press play. So it automated the EQ section. And obviously you could then get another one going over the top of this one. I'll start the song again. I'll hit right. Switch on this one. Unfortunately, the um, capturing software has got problems with um, animated windows and that's why some of the frames are missing and it, it seems as if it's a bit stuttery. But when you do the same trick, you don't have any problems with it and it should sound fine and, and really good. So what else could we activate? We can activate the on and off switches for the sends, the um, send levels and the pre-switches -switch for example. Let's give that a go. Hit right, try, let's, let's try it. And there's more that we can automate. Let's have a look at one of the audio channels, the bass channel here, for example. And um, we've got a few inserts which I've chosen. We've got the overdrive insert, the mod delay, and the metalizer. Now, they're all playing away, that's fine. And um, let's bring them up for the editor. Overdrive, there's the metalizer, here's the metalizer. Base overdrive and um, the mod delay. Now let's let's start the automation. We'll hit right again and play.
see I'm changing the programs of all the different inserts and let's see what happened I'll stop the track delay is still playing away we'll switch right off go to the beginning of the track and let's play it Definitely heard a, a change then. You can see that there are quite a lot of things that you can automate. But um, usually when you automate, Cubase writes everything into the same automation track. This actually happens, or the part is actually um, created as soon as you hit the right button there. Cubase brings up the audio mix part in the audio mix track and then everything you do will um, will be written into this part here. I'll show you again. See, every time I move the fader you can see a little bit of movement going on there. Now let's say you wanted to keep whatever I've done over the last four bars and repeat the same thing over and over again throughout the track as it is, then instead of um, writing it throughout the whole track you could just do the same tricks as you do Normally you could create little parts. Oops, I've just deleted um, the audio part while the right button was still switched on. So I have to do the same thing again. Let's create some events. Okay, that should do. Switch right off. And now cut there and cut there. Now I can delete the bits. And then create some copies. Control K. Let's create um, seven copies. And now we can automate this part all the way through the song. And you could take it further. You could now give this one a name. You could call this one um, Volume Channel 2 if you want to. Channel 2. And then if you want to automate the next part, all you need to do is hit the right key again. Um, but before you do that, you need to mute this one. So let's go back for the mixer. Hit the right key again. Cubase creates another mix track. Um, you can then um, tweak anything else, for example, the pan separately. Like this. I'll have to switch right off again. Create a part. Control K, keep the copies. This one is is pan of channel two. Um, unmute that that one as well. Open the tracks, the th track mixer, channel mixer, and then play it. Now you can see we've got the fader going up and down, and the pan moving as well. And both both um, tracks are playing at the same time. As soon as I mute, mute one of them, the fader movements have stopped because I've muted the, the volume track mixer um, recordings. And as soon as I unmute that one, you get fader movements again. You could, for example, create um, create a fader movement and then copy this one for other other songs that you want to use by just exporting this. You could, for example, just take one of those um, fades that you've got and um, drop it onto your desktop. There's the, um, the audio mix part that we've just created and, um, and use it whenever you feel like using it again.